That first word says Breshit, and that is translated as in the beginning. If you take the last two letters of the first word and you put them on the second word, the first word becomes Barosh. Yeah, so it's Breshit, Barosh, because the vowel changes. Right? Barosh means in the head. And the second word becomes Yitbara. So Breshit Bara becomes Barosh Yitbara, and then Elohim. And Yitbara becomes passive. Right? And it means was created. In the head was created God. <laughs> <laughs> or gods or powers, because Elohim is also a very complicated name. Right? Which is a really interesting way to start a book, which has all kinds of experiences where one person sees writing that another person doesn't see, or one person talks to an angel that another person doesn't see, or one person is moved by a compulsion that just affects him or her. Uh, we might talk about this as a uh, psychiatric experience. We might talk about this as mystical experience. But it's, it's very much something which happens inside, in, inside the head of one person. One interesting way to start a book. And again, this is one of the greatest sages of Jewish history who says, this is how you can break up the first line differently. Now, you can also break up the second line differently. From et ha et haaretz to ata shamayim ba'ata haaretz. You are heavens and you are earth. Right? Nice way to start a book. I remember once I was sitting under a tree, lying under a tree in Wales. It was an apple tree. I was on mushrooms and I was looking up at the sky. Uh, I was looking at the edge of the tree and feeling how the air was trafficking with the tree and all the phytochemicals and the gases and the water moving between them. And I could feel beneath me the earth and the roots going into the earth and the edge of that all becoming rather porous and me being part of that whole system as well, breathing in, breathing out like that tree. I was heaven and I was earth. And it was just delicious. And this is one of the things that psychedelics are really good at is um, uh, making the edges fuzzy. And one of the reasons that psychedelics are useful in, for example, therapy or insight is because if you look at something and then you look at it again, but the edges have changed, you can see it differently, right? A little bit like with the words. So for example, I might think, uh, my wife is a nightmare. And then I take a great big dose of mushrooms, and the edges change, and it's like, actually, we're a nightmare. And then I can do something about it, you know. I might put another edge somewhere else.